Okay, this is a video response to Cult of Dusty, um, Dusty Smith, I think is his name, um, Joey Bales. Uh, just want to respond to your 9-11 video, and uh, for the most part, I think uh, everybody that replies back to you is going to be saying that uh, you're a unpatriotic and blah blah blah, this and that, and evil and you, you know, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of flack for that video, so uh, uh, I'm not going to give you as much flack for that video, uh, but I do kind of think you miss a little bit of the point of remembering 9-11. Uh, so I do agree that uh, it is sensationalized and there are huge, huge problems. Um, I wouldn't go too much into the 56 million number <laughs> that die every day um, when you have uh, six and a half billion people, maybe seven billion, I don't know what the number is now, on the face of the planet. All of them uh, genetically predisposed to die. Uh, it's it's going to happen. So uh, uh, I'm not sure how many of those 56 million are natural causes or old age or what have you, but uh, uh, death is a part of life. So uh, I think one of the things that... Um, people have a hard time with is uh, accepting that that death is a part of life it's the very ending part uh, but it is a part nonetheless it happens to everybody uh, I don't like to think about it myself um, because um, I don't believe in an afterlife so I don't think anything is going to happen to me afterwards um, my time here will just end and that will be it uh, which is not a pleasant thought but uh, that's just the way it works so I do think we need to remember 9-11 though uh, and the reasons why it happened uh, Ron Paul touched on it and got a lot of flack for it but there's this thing called blowback and uh, I've done some blog posts about this and but there's this whole concept of the things that you do uh, whether good or bad uh, well-intentioned or not uh, have consequences so uh, Buddhists call this karma uh, it might be part of Hindu Hinduism as well maybe other Eastern religions, I'm not sure, but uh, the things you do have consequences. And 9-11 was a consequence of things we have done. Uh, people we have involved ourselves with that we should not have involved ourselves with. Um, people that we have empowered that we should not have empowered. So, for example, Osama bin Laden uh, and the Taliban and everybody in Afghanistan that is against us was once with us. Um, and the only reason they were with us is because we were against the Soviets who had invaded their country. And now the same people who uh, were fighting against us are fighting with us against the Soviets are fighting against us now in Afghanistan because they don't want foreign invaders in their country and I don't blame them I would not want foreign invaders in my country so uh, especially if they were well armed <laughs> so uh, that's kind of the lesson we need to take from 9-11 is uh, be careful who you associate with be careful who you uh, who you cultivate relationships with and what kind of relationships are those um, and if you do things that make people mad they're going to come back to get you eventually 
So, was 9-11 a bad thing? Yes. Was it our fault? Partially. Uh, could have been avoided? Yes, probably. But I have to, you know, I have to agree with you on a certain aspect of it. Um, we shouldn't worry ourselves too much about terrorists. Um, and like you said, doing the things that we have done in the past 10 years to protect ourselves from the terrorism has basically played right into the terrorists' hands. These are the things they want us to do. They want us to start torturing people. Um, when I was a kid, uh, back in the 80s, uh, the evil empire, the Soviet Union, uh, they made movies about the Soviet Union torturing people and everybody thought it was terrible and that's what set us apart from the Soviets because we didn't torture people and of course we did and we always have but um, now you find much more public support for things like torture uh, and uh, rendition and lots of other things that we shouldn't be involving ourselves with because these are the things that um, caused 9-11 in the first place. I mean if you take, if you go over to a country and, and seize part of their population even if it's a small portion and put them in a prison like Guantanamo and keep them locked up there without a trial um, torturing them and uh, expect to not uh, be ridiculed for that and not and expect for people not to be angry about that because everybody's got a family member and while I would not react in the way that certain people have reacted I would not fly a plane into a building for just about any reason that I can think of. I can't think of a reason why I would fly a plane into a building full of people, but um, some people will. And when you uh, kind of mesh uh, the, the fundamentalist religious um, uh, outlook on life uh, with extreme poverty and uh, um, and kind of a already built-in hatred <laughs> of the United States. You're uh, you're asking for trouble. So I think that in the future uh, we should remember 9/11 and try to do some things differently. Uh, try to interact with the world in a way so that people would not be mad enough at us to fly planes into a building and I, I know that 9-11 and the terrorists specifically the type of thing that happened in 9-11 is never going to happen again I won't say never but it's highly unlikely uh, we've already had examples of you know terrorists on airplanes uh, even somebody acting mildly suspicious um, people jump on them immediately so that sort of thing I don't think we have to worry about again but the, I mean there's other things that can happen uh, dirty bombs you know chemical and biological uh, weapons that uh, could do a lot of damage and it's not something we need to mess around with we really 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 needs to start setting setting the example in the world we need to stop looking for revenge and start setting a good example let's start uh, uh, I'm not a Christian but if you are a Christian then you should be familiar with the concept of forgiveness and if you're out looking for revenge on everybody uh, that's not very forgiving. That's not. That's not the way. Um, I think that your religion 
should be pointing itself because that makes you no better than the religious fundamentalists on the other side that's their attitude so Dusty I agree with you on certain points I agree that the sensationalism of it the constant reminders um, the constant fear of it is has gone way 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 too far uh, but at the same time it's not something we should just forget and uh, I don't think that's what you intended with your video but I just wanted to make that point clear we shouldn't forget it and then we should learn lessons from it and we should remind ourselves every once in a while of what it was what happened and uh, try to live our lives in a better way. So, uh, peace out. See you next time.